What's up, ladies? Welcome to the channel, Sugar Carry M. If you're new here, hook me up and click on that pretty red subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of my beauty, fashion, or lifestyle videos, make sure you turn on that notification bell. Now, your girl is super hyped because I got a unit to review, and it's from Janet Collection. Now, Janet Collection was kind enough to send me over this unit, and I super duper appreciate it. First of all, I do want to put out there that Janet Collection is one of my favorite brands when it comes to synthetic units. It's very rare that I don't like a unit from Janet Collection. So I was super excited to get this one. And girl, she's giving looks, okay? There's a little bit more to it. So I'm gonna show you all of that. So first of all, the unit again is from Janet Collection. It's from the Milk series, which is one of my favorite collections from them. Now it is a 13 by six front to part like hairline situation so you get some areas of parts just unit it comes with a comb on each side one in the nape area adjustable straps and an adjustable elastic band which i love now the style is called polina and the color that i have it in is the butterscotch color which is the same exact color that the model has it on in the stock cart and it does come in some other beautiful colors as well you got ladies so yeah, so the first thing I noticed was the long baby hairs, super long baby hairs. We are getting ear to ear lace, which is okay. The hairline is actually coming up pretty decent, not too mad. So I'm just gonna go in and do my normal, usual styling, nothing fancy. I'm gonna cut my lace in a zigzag pattern. You can use a razor comb if that's a little bit easier for you. It's actually easier for me to use that on this side, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a thing, I can't explain it. And I had to tint the lace because it was a little casty and too light. Of course, I'm gonna set it with um, setting spray and hairspray so it doesn't budge okay and as you can see some of my sideburns are a little exposed so it's a weird fit now i'm going to use the pump it up spritz to melt this down this time because i noticed even though it's a little bit drippier and a little bit messier um the spritz gives a nice clean clear crisp melt hairspray can do that too but sometimes you get a lot of that white cast if you have makeup on if you have built up on a comb things like that so definitely give the spritz a try I did tuck in those little bit of air tabs that was left because it was just looking a little too crazy, okay? Um, it is a 13 by 6, so keep in mind that you can part this here whatever because I believe I had the parting space on the other side and then I decided to switch it. Um, right now, I'm taming those baby hairs. Those baby hairs are so long that I'm trying to hot comb it, get it a little straight so it can stop curling up and getting in my face because it's really acting like very annoying flyaways to be honest with you and girl i can't take it <laughs> um you can pluck it if you want though so i'm gonna do my usual i'm not gonna use the powder i'm gonna use the concealer to use for my party space i feel like the concealer is way more um opaque than powder and it does a better job you can always clean it up like i'm doing with a little eyebrow whatever whatever pencil you got lip pencil it don't matter okay um, now I'm going to go in and add a little bit of this amongst my hairline area. That is the same powder that I used to contour in that area for my makeup. So it just works to put it on a lace as well. This is what the hair looks like immediately after finishing. You get the nice ombre dark roots and then it fades into that nice blonde with the highlights. Absolutely beautiful. The hair is bouncy. It moves. It has flow. It looks beautiful as a side part. And close up on that lace, y'all, that lace in that hairline is looking pretty decent. I always have good things to say about the lace on the milk collection. But the middle part is definitely given. I like the middle part a lot better than the side part, y'all. Y'all gonna have to let me know in the comment section. Are you feeling the side part more or the middle part? But I'm gonna give you more thoughts, okay? I'm gonna give you more thoughts. Here's a full review coming up like right now. So firstly, the unit is a beautiful, light, yakky texture, and it's very, very soft to the touch. However, I must go ahead and let you know that it does have some slight tangling with it. It's not too crazy, but it was definitely some in there as I was styling the unit. Now, the fit on the unit is okay until it gets near my sideburn areas. Now, you definitely get the ear-to-ear -ear lace because the lace is covering my ear, but it's not covering the front of my hairline in that section. So it's a little weird of a fit, a little bit small doesn't come up further enough towards the front i think my head is gaining weight y'all because i feel like this is an issue with a lot of wigs lately now the lace did come off a little too light for me so you know i had to take out a little bit of makeup i had to tint that baby down and of course it did melt nicely and that is one thing that i do love about the melt collection is that these units be melting down nicely because 
that look good y'all that's a nice little melt right there it always melts every unit that i melt melt down from the melt collection comes out looking so freaking amazing something that i was like really not feeling was the long behind baby hairs like the baby hairs are so long it's like literally bangs at this point not baby bangs like bangs and it's so long that it's kind of interfering with the regular hair that you gotta hairspray it down you gotta wax it down probably cutting it out would be better but i didn't want to interfere with the hairline that i feel like is kind of decent but again like i said those baby hairs are acting like flyaways and they're pretty annoying um but the hairline did come out kind of decent so that gives a decent hairline if you're somebody who's not into plucking i'm gonna definitely say it is a go you can keep on pushing unless you're somebody who's very particular about how natural you want the hairline you're going a little bit more but for me it's good i'm cool with the way it is i think it looks nice the hair is like a medium type density. This is all of the hair to the front. It feels nice. It's a nice healthy density. I feel like if it was a little bit thicker, it would be too much for this unit. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. I love how they have these nice cute little layers up on this. Like, it's giving me those old school 90s type of straight cut vibes. Like, very, very, very pretty. I do like it. I would probably go in and do a little bit more so I can have some more layers because I feel like right there is just short and then it gets really, really long. But I didn't do that because I felt like I am going to end up flipping this unit over to the side as y'all already see in the video. So I'm like, if I'm going to be doing more than one thing, I'm not going to like trim it just for one style. Now this color blend is off the wall, y'all. They did an amazing job with the color. It's blended to perfection. And I do love me a blonde with a dark root because I feel like it just makes my job easier and allowing it to look natural and it just looks more natural like this is so freaking beautiful and you know styling the unit actually was pretty easy and honestly i was not going to melt this unit down i was gonna wear it glueless at first but i i felt like it listen i felt like it melts really nice but i felt like when it was glueless i saw too much of a cast of the lace towards my skin so i felt like i needed to melt it down just so it could look a little bit more realistic it wasn't giving me the vibe that i wanted when it was glueless but i mean i don't know it could be the makeup i use it could be the lace i have no idea everybody might have a different experience but that was my experience either way i think it looks amazing now that i've melted it down i mean overall the unit is really really pretty it's definitely beautiful i love having the option to part it wherever i want um and like i said the color is beautiful the touch is really soft like i don't really have issues with this unit the the main thing was the fit up in this area i wish that was fitting a lot better and you know everything else could be dealt with the way it's dealt with like the unit is cute it is so pretty it's a pretty unit i'm happy with it it's a nice little classic something to wear every day it's cool it's not too long it's not too short like it's perfect so yeah that's it ladies because i'm just going on and on saying the same stuff over and over but again the unit will be linked in the description box below so where you can pick one up Y'all let me know in the comment section how you feel in this unit. And do you think you're going to pick one up for yourself? Let your girl know. But I will see you in another video. So until then, I will holla later.